Hello and welcome to this video on interactive UI design prototyping using MyBalsamic and Unity 3D. For those of you who don't know what MyBalsamic is, it's a web editing tool for creating low fidelity mockups. Uh, here I have it open and I'm going to show you around this mockup that I've done. Uh, here I have a 720p image uh, for context and then I layered on my game HUD widgets in my balsamic over top of uh, this and I think that uh, this tool allows you to create some very accurate mockups because you can do you know paper I find that they don't translate into the game that well because their aspect ratios are off their sizes are off you don't know what what actual pixel sizes to do things um, now I mean you have relative scaling and all that but uh, as far as proportions go I find this a very powerful tool to create good UI designs now I created additional mockups uh, that I'm going to show you here here's the loading screen and then you take yourself to a landing page where you have your logging in and a little bit of news about the game and then if it's your first time logging in and uh, you don't have a character you'll be brought to the character select screen where you can select a class a name and a gender and it'll dynamically update with some visual appearances and stats and items uh, once you've done that you'll land at the game home screen where you see a list of available servers and you can start your own new game as well as telling, your, uh, telling you a little bit about yourself. And then once you've selected a game uh, you'll be in the game and here's what we see uh, directly coming out of my balsamic. Uh, so this was basically uh, the first step in this process is creating the mockups with context and you should do usability testing even then. Show these to people to ask them what you think, ask them if they see any errors. Uh, and I encourage you to put a lot of effort into polishing these contexts as much as possible. Uh, you know, don't just leave them as big blocks. You don't worry about the proportions and worry about what screen resolution you're going to be targeting. So uh, the next step <coughs> is to create clean panels which will be imported into Unity. And I'm going to show you these inside the editor. So here I use NGUI. Um, which is just a UI library for Unity and it allows me to place a texture. So I have a collection of of all of these textures but they've been cleaned out a little bit so I've removed some of the context. For example the game uh, HUD which is probably the most important one. I've taken the alpha all of the I've cut out all of the white or sorry of the game background picture that I had here. So I just delete this and then you know make it green. Well, I think you can see I've made a few green here, and just just crop that out and put it into Unity. And uh, okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is actually uh, the interactive aspects to this. So uh, in Unity, you can, for example, on the landing page, you can put your own widgets, uh, interactive widgets, directly into the editor and hook them up in code. So this allows the mockups to actually start doing things uh, and I think it's a very effective technique to do this inside Unity. So I'm going to start a client here. I already have a server running with one game, with one Bolt game server. Uh, here I'm test, login, and there we go. We see that single game on the sandbox mode uh, at localhost and we can join it. But first I'm going to start two additional clients. And I just really want to showcase the server list feature that I've just implemented. Test 2 and test 3. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually create a new game. And we'll see that a new Bolt server process has been launched by the Photon server. And we'll wait for this to load. And there we go, I've loaded in. Now uh, we should be able to see two servers on the server list when we refresh the other clients. So uh, these other clients are going to double click to join um, their own game. So now uh, they're in a game together and this player is in his own other game and we can see that they are two uh, different games on the server side here. So uh, that's all I want to show you. Uh, 
I think that you'll notice that there's a lot to be added to my UI uh, prototypes. For example, um, none of these health bars or buttons or minimap or chat is functional. Uh, but the benefit of this strategy is that you get to implement it one step at a time, one feature at a time, and uh, you really get to to make small increment of changes. It's really easy to go back into My Balsamic if you need to change something, tweak the image, re-export it, put it into Unity, and bam. Uh, you can iterate super, super fast if you make a mistake. Um, and it's I think it's a very powerful approach that I want to share with everybody. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you do like the technique, please leave your comments below. Thanks.